The real reason that you keep attracting toxic relationships actually has nothing to do with men at all. Nothing to do with your ex, not your partner's deal. The real reason is you think that a man is gonna complete you. Not gonna happen at all, not the truth. When you feel like you're not whole and you're only half and then a man is the other half, you can only ever attract toxic relationships. The crazy truth is that relationships are not additive, they're multiplicative. I'm gonna blow your mind right now, sister. So what happens is when you feel like you're not whole, like you're half, you're not complete, you're desperate, you're suffering. So like, I need a man. And then the man that you attract feels the same way, like insecure, I need attention from other women. So you have two halves, like your souls are both half. So because it's multiplicative, you times one half by one half and you get one fourth. That means you guys are even less than if you were by yourselves, like lonely together, you're even worse or even more toxic and you're even less of a soul. So what happens is we think that they're additive. It's like, Oh, one half me desperate and secure woman. And then one half him like a not nice dude. And that will equal one. So I had this one reach out to me and she had just turned 40 and she was like, had this like anger and she was like gnarly. And she was like, I just like have been doing all this work and I've invested. And like, oh, I thought that I would have a man by the time that I was 40. And I'm like, okay. And I said, so what do you think a partner is going to do for you? Why do you want a partner so bad? Tell me how you think you're going to feel. And she like everything in life that she already is like, I could feel her wholeness. She was giving that power away to a partner. Well, I'll be able to adventure. You've traveled like to three countries already in the last year. Like you already adventure. Well, I'll have somebody to like talk to and communicate with. You just said that you had a great like weekend last weekend at the beach with your friends. So everything that she thought she wasn't, she thought a man would complete her and fill her. But she, the truth was she was actually believing she was half a woman. She was trying to attract a man from, I'm not good enough. I'm not whole. I'm desperate. And when you're attracting from desperation, like the energy is like, I need, I need, I need like <sighs> my precious. But when you're attracting from wholeness, it's like, huh, I have, I have, I have. She really thought that a man was going to save her. And I was like, okay, well go keep trying that out. I mean, for 40 years you've been trying that and it hasn't worked. Like what if you actually just leaned into the idea that you are, already unconditional love right now. And it's like really uncomfortable. And I know that when you're in the midst of it and you feel like you're not good enough and you're desperate and you're alone, it seems like a man will save me. A warm body will save me. But when you're attracting people out of the energy of I'm not good enough as I am. And like, I don't want to be alone and I can't get any better then you're left like with this emptiness. You know, the most lonely I ever felt was when I was married. I was so afraid to feel alone. That's why I stayed in a toxic marriage for so long. That's one of my core triggers. I don't want to be alone. And when I left, I was like, holy shit. I felt so much more alone when I was in this toxic relationship. So we're going to do an exercise right now because what's not going to help you is to continue to try to attract a man from this really desperate place. So this is the way that you can tell if you are attracting from I'm whole and I have an overflow and I'm a badass or I'm desperate and I need a man to save me. So I want you to bring your ex to your awareness and I'm going to have you just no wrong, no right here, write down the three most powerful memories that you have from your past relationship. Again, no right, no wrong. Just like the first ones that come up in your awareness. I'm going to do this with you. I'll just give you an example of my ex-husband. So the first place that we can attract from is if I'm like, okay, here I am. Here's the three most powerful memories. Uh, the first one is we were at the beach and he came out of the water screaming at me to cover up because I'm a whore and I need attention. And the whole beach was looking at me and I like literally wanted to freaking curl in a ball and disappear. And then we fought down the beach. We're screaming at each other. I'm like throwing my sunscreen at him. So it was not awesome. Uh, the second most powerful one is I remember feeling like this is so gnarly. I think I'm going to die and I can't ask for help. So much guilt. 
because I got myself in this situation, so I better freaking get myself out. Like, you should be ashamed, you idiot, you taught yoga, you teach meditation. Deal with it yourself, like just freaking so much, you know, guilt on my shoulders. And uh, the third one is we got in a huge fight on our wedding morning because he accused me of cheating on him. And he threw my phone across the room and he broke it. And we called my therapist and our therapist. And she was like, you guys should not get married. And of course we did. And we did not have sex that night or many nights because I was like, I hate you. I'm not safe around you. I don't want to have sex. Okay. So that energy that I just described is really heavy and dense. You feel it, right? It's like, Oh my God. So, so it's actually like a victim energy. It's like you control my life and my happiness. You mother effer. Now a woman trying to attract a man from that energy, a powerless energy is just going to go out and attract another man. In fact, I had many women do this exercise and they were like, dude, I had like my last two exes were called Tony and I like, they even had the same name. It's like, it's going to be the same story. You will keep replaying and living out your same story while you are in the energy of I'm not enough. You did this to me and you have to save me. So let's do this exercise again with my same relationship and let's do it from wholeness. So the three most, I have goosebumps already, the three most powerful memories, right? So the first one is I remember feeling like I want to live. I want to laugh. I want to love myself. I got this. So this surge of confidence and love and just feeling like, okay, God loves me. I'm enough. That's a miracle coming from a woman who doesn't believe she's good enough. The second one is I was searching. I talked about this in the last video. Go ahead and watch that one. I was searching for so much help. I found these profound spiritual healers that just guided me and they still do that. I was able to share with so many other women. So Eckhart and Thich Nhat Hanh just changed my life. I mean, hit that like button. If you're like, Oh my God, I can see the good that came out of this situation. Like I grew, I changed something good came from this, right? The third one is I figured out what love really is. And it came from experiencing what love was not another miracle. So looking back on it, a woman that attracts a man from this energy, like you are a shoe and I'm covered in goosebumps and it is chilly in this room. You are a shoe in you're attracting from wholeness and from an overflow. You've got this. There's nothing that can stop you. Now there's no wrong or right, but this is a really easy way. It's like a scale to measure how, where your soul is, where your mindset is and how you feel about yourself because it was never about him and it's never about your ex and it's never about the next one. This is you knowing in your soul that you are already whole. If you want to keep this train going sister, like I just mentioned in my last video, I shared the most incredible advice I got from Eckhart Tolle that saved my life and broke my toxic relationship pattern of almost 40 years. Check out this video. You're so worthy.